Hey guys, so today we are out at TPC East Course and I want to do a little experiment. So as a pro and somebody that practices a lot, we always talk about the importance of being really really accurate. Like you know when we say choose a target, we say choose a small branch or a small leaf. So today I want to do something with regards to that and I wanted to play 18 holes without a range finder. And as I mentioned, because pros, low handicappers, well, serious golfers in general always focus on accuracy and they always say, you know, oh, you need to be really, really accurate. So I wanted to see how much my feel can actually help me and how accuracy might not be that important all the time. So without a range finder, let's see how well I know the distance based on feel, based on experience and based on my eyes. So I was actually pretty spot on with that. I thought I had about 95, so I hit a half 52 and I'm just over the pin, so it was actually 93 yards. So another thing to note is at TPC, they don't actually have those markers. You see, like usually they might have a red stick or a white stick or whatever. They don't have any of those here. So that's going to make it even harder for me because I don't even have a gauge of how far it is. It's just purely going to be based off my eyes. So this is about the only thing helping me right now. So far this is going a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, definitely though for holes like this with water in front, I'm so like nervous that I don't have the right club that I'm going to take more club. So that is definitely a tendency that I already noticed. So that one was actually 162 to the pin and I hit a half 6 iron so definitely could have gone with the full 6. So I actually hit driver on that hole because normally I hit a wood to get short of the bunker but then the pin position today is really difficult to access if you don't have a short club in. So I decided to hit more club but now the problem is there is no signs on the road so I have zero idea or estimate of how far I am to the pin so this is going to be exciting. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, that is an example of when knowing your distance is important. 109 to the pin and this pin you cannot hit over. So I literally hit a 52 degree wedge because I thought it was going to be around 100 instead of 109. But I mean, I'm on the green. But definitely if I had the right club, I would have been going for birdie. Now I'm trying to get a two putt. So that definitely plays a role for shots like this. For this part 3, it actually worked out better for me not knowing the distance because normally I would know the distance, see that it's a front pin, see that it's it's been raining, it's, the air is heavy and I would take more club but instead I just trusted the distance, hit a full shot rather than a half, you know, trying to just make sure that I get it on the green kind of shot and I actually ended up over the pin. If it rolls, it's just like a gain's grain or something. That was such a good part, dude. It slowed down like crazy. Yeah. I it, thought it what's was even roll here actually when yeah. it slowed down? I thought it was speed up over there. So was it was it not knowing the dis distance on a par 5 is making more aggressive making me more aggressive because I feel like I want to get it as close as possible to the green because I know when I'm chipping I have pretty good gauge of distance with, in terms of my eyes but when I'm hitting obviously it's a little bit harder so I feel like somehow I'm just hitting three wood for my second shot which normally I won't which is kind of nice You know what this makes me realize too? How much I actually control my clubs. Like I don't actually hit them full all the time. That's why now when I'm when I don't know the dis distance when I'm hitting it full, it's actually going so much further.
trying to put. Which is roughly what this is, you think? Slightly less than 125. 125, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank God for the win, man. <laughs> mine, mine was 117. So actually that was a distance that I got really lucky on. On the scorecard it actually says 119 to the to the center of the green and the pin is in the center. So I thought hitting something 125 yards because 119 is meters would be good. And I hit literally I carried it 124 and I almost went over which on this green over means water so because this thing says 119 even though for me actually I, I thought I should be hitting a pitching wedge sometimes it's quite funny because I think because we practice so much we know how far it goes we know how far 120 looks like right so in our hits in my head it kind of looked like a 120 shot which was a pitching wedge but because I saw 119 meters I thought okay I'm gonna hit a half nine and that's what I did and I got lucky that it didn't go in the water so yeah sometimes you just gotta trust your gut feeling So I, I know I said I've been hitting through it for my second shot on par 5 just to get it as close as possible but for this hole, the whole thing up like close inside 100 yards unless you're going for the green is basically bunker. You have a higher chance of being in a bunker than on a fairway. So definitely that, that is just not a smart play here. That is just stupid. So still hitting a 5 iron here and hoping that I have a good distance. Well, that I can gauge the distance well enough to get it close enough for birdie. You're doing a really good job guessing <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Don't know the distance. Don't know if I have the right club. Crazy pin position. Go for it. Yeah, shit, should have 
hit an 8. <laughs> Did you pick a 7? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so takeaways from today. I thought that was quite an interesting experiment. I didn't expect it to be... I didn't think that it would be that good. Like, I didn't think I would be able to judge the distances that well. But I think, number one, obviously, like, I don't want to repeat the fact that I'm a pro, but more about the fact that not only am I a pro, but I practice a lot. So my body, my eyes, it already knows. It knows what 100 yards looks like. It knows what 200 yards looks like. And I think a lot of times, obviously I'm not saying like rangefinders should not be used. Like I think rangefinders are very, very helpful. And there were a few uh, circumstances or situations where obviously the rangefinder would have helped me hit a better shot or hit it closer to the pin at least. But I think what I really found out is that number one, I didn't realize how much my body controls my shots sometimes so I've actually been asked this question before and it was like you know when you hit half shots what does a half shot actually mean am I like hitting a smaller swing am I gripping down what am I doing and I think a lot of it is actually body control so it's like if I hit for instance I if I hit my six iron um, 160 carry right and I wanted to hit something that was and it's a front pin and I need to carry it 158 so I definitely want to hit a six iron but I want to hit it a little bit softer so what I then do is I tell my body I want to hit my 6 iron 158 yards and obviously that comes with practice. With practice my body knows what it needs to do to hit a 158 yard shot. But I think a lot of it is that sometimes we are so programmed in our mind like I know exactly how far each club is supposed to go that it actually controls my body that I don't hit it as far because I limit myself to that distance. So it's like, it's not limit, but then it's like my, my brain already knows that it goes that distance, which is quite interesting when you think about it. Because I, of course, I've, I hit well today as well, but you know, I've been practicing, I've been working on some stuff and some stuff kept, have been coming together. So I did hit well, so there's no denying that. But also that like, I felt like I hit longer as well on certain shots. Like, you know, obviously I play TPC quite often. So I know on certain holes like par threes, what I normally use. But even then, today, I hit longer on those par threes with the same clubs that I normally use. And I think it's because I didn't know the exact distance. So I didn't have a distance in my head. I didn't think, okay, I need to hit this 180 yards. I didn't know how far I was supposed to hit it. I was just going to hit that full 5 iron or a half 5 iron or whatever it was. And it actually ended up going further than, it, than I thought it would, which I thought it was quite interesting. So I think, you know, it's technology is good, but we definitely should rely more on our feel. Our body knows so much. We, we can rely on our body and ourselves and our brains and our eyes so much more than we think actually think. So I think it was a great experiment. You know, if you guys get the chance, definitely try doing that and see how it feels. It honestly feels really uncomfortable because when you stand over the ball, sometimes you like doubt yourself. You have no idea how far to hit it, right? But you really have to trust your shot. So that is the main thing. Like you have to trust whatever iron you're hitting, whether you're hitting a half shot, a full shot, a three quarter shot, you have to trust that that is what you're doing and that it's the right thing. And I think it actually helped me trust and commit more to my shots. So I think that's a great experiment. If you guys get the chance, please do it and let me know what you think. So thanks so much for tuning in to, the, to today's vlog. And I had lots of fun. Um, hope to see you guys next time. Thanks guys. Bye.